Hi, I'm Melissa with iHeart 4th Grade. Now that you've learned all about boom cards, I'm sure you're ready to get started using them with your own students in your classroom. I'm here today to show you how easy it is to get started. In three steps, we're going to set up your account, add your first boom deck, and share it with the students in your classroom. The first thing you'll want to do is visit boomlearning.com. Up at the top, you'll see a blue margin. You're going to want to click Sign In. I need to create an account, so I'm going to click join for free, and I'm going to join with an email. And I'm going to click the blue create an account. Now I have a Boom account ready to use with my students. From here up at the blue margin, you'll see your classes library, reports, store, and studio. And we'll get to all those features in later videos. Now that we've created an account, we're ready to add our very first Boom Deck. Now that we've set up our Boom Learning account, we're ready for the second step, and that is adding a Boom Deck into our Boom Library. So here's a PDF from my Teachers Pay Teachers store. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom where we're going to click on the image to download the deck. So when I click on this image, it will redirect me to Boom Learning. Keep in mind, I'm still signed in. Sometimes people have issues if they're not signed in, it wants them to purchase it again, but I'm still signed into my Boom account. I'm going to confirm that it's me, and I've now redeemed this set of Boom cards. If you need to find your Boom cards that you've downloaded, Go up to your blue margin and see where it says library. And here, this is where everything is stored that you own. I'm going to click on the set of cards that I just downloaded, and they're ready to use with my students immediately. Sometimes I use Boom cards with my whole class or in small groups on my smart board. So in this case, we would be able to type in the answer, and the next card in the deck will be pulled up. So you can see that I'm not wasting time writing problems on the board or typing problems on the board. Everything's ready to go. If I hit the back button, it will redirect me back into my library and maybe we can pick something else to work on. So in this video, we set up our Boom account, we downloaded our first set of Boom cards, and we're able to pull them up to use with students. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me either on email, Facebook, or Instagram.